Hey guys, welcome back to Yoga with Leona, your site for everything about yoga and breast cancer recovery. I want to make a short video today just to, to reassure anyone who is new to the practice or is thinking about starting a yoga practice, but who maybe has never done yoga and or is a little worried about whether their bodies are gonna be able to do yoga or not. So I wanted to show you some of the modifications that we use in our videos and uh, just to let you see how the practice looks and how we use modifications to really make the practice accessible to anyone and to keep our bodies really safe so that we're not taking a risk of hurting ourselves when we start uh, into a uh, yoga practice. So most of my videos are in a methodology called Y for C or Yoga for Cancer. And this is a special methodology that's designed for cancer survivors. So sort of taking into account all of the special things that we go through in cancer treatment. So understanding what cancer surgery and radiation and chemotherapy effects might be on our body such that the yoga is designed in a way that's gonna be accessible and safe for us. So let me demonstrate just a couple of the things that we do. So one thing we might use is a chair at the front of our mat. So you can use any kind of chair. It could be a dining chair or a folding chair as long as it's nice and sturdy. And the other thing that we often use are some yoga blocks. So I've got four yoga blocks here today that I'm gonna show you. Um, you can start with the chair or using household items in place of your blocks, uh, something like a roll of paper towels or a stack of books. But then if you decide you like the practice and you're going to stick with it, then you could go ahead and pick up some yoga blocks. They're really pretty reasonable and you can get them almost anywhere. So let me show you how we use these. So we use the chair at the front of our mat to help get us into the position that we can do um, sun salutations and move into and out of yoga postures while keeping our spine nice and straight. That keeps our spine healthy and safe. So it looks like this. We inhale, stretch our arms up. And then we exhale, bending our knees, keeping our spine straight, and we reach for the chair for support. So this is instead of folding all the way to the floor like you might do in a regular yoga class. Here we use the chair, and then we can step into and out of different yoga positions more easily and more safely. Now, if you get flexible enough and the chair is pretty easy for you, then you can use yoga blocks instead. So for example, you might use four yoga blocks stacked up nicely. We inhale up, exhale, we bend our knees and reach for the blocks. And then you can use that the same way to support you as you step in and out of a pose. Maybe you even start to transition down to the floor and then you use those blocks to help you come back up as well. So a lot of people will say that it's a little difficult to get up and down from the floor and they worry that maybe they can't do yoga practice because it's hard for them to get up and back. Well, this kind of a design is gonna help us specifically to get up and down and then to build the strength and flexibility that you'll need to be able to do it eventually without the blocks. So that's some of the way we use them in the standing poses. Let me show you a couple things seated as well. So a lot of people also will say, oh, I have so much tightness in my hips or my low back that I have a hard time sitting on the floor. So we'll sometimes also use props to help with that. So we always have a folded towel or blanket. This is a pretty thick one, which is really nice. And I'm gonna show you how, if you've got tight hips or tight low back, if you sit on the edge of a folded towel or blanket, it really gives you a lot more space underneath your hips and allows you to sit more comfortably. We also often would use blocks underneath the knees. So if this cross-legged position were uncomfortable, you could prop yourself to get into a position where you could comfortably sit and then do the stretches from there. Another thing that's kind of nice is you can use a yoga block and sit on that instead of the blanket in some of the postures. So same idea, you just sit your sits bones right on top of that block and you can see how it raises your bum up off the floor so it opens up those hips and makes this easier to do. So we've got lots of tricks and modifications that we do um, throughout the practice to help make it accessible to really anybody um, and also to keep you safe. So 
Um, hopefully that was helpful for anybody who's thinking about yoga but is a little worried or a little intimidated. Please don't be. Uh, this practice is designed for beginners. It's designed for people who've been through cancer treatment and you know are healing. And so we take it very slow and then we move up gradually in this uh, very methodical way. Once your body's ready, we keep moving forward so that we can continue to build strength and flexibility and really just show you how strong you are as you recover from your cancer treatment. So um, let me know if you have any questions, if I can help you understand um, how this yoga practice might work for you or if you have specific concerns, feel free to shoot me an email. All right, have a wonderful day. Namaste.